Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, talks about the life of the believer in a very interesting way. It says that we as believers are a living sacrifice. What does that mean? Why does that matter? These are two good and relevant questions uh, that need to be answered. In Sunday, we're going to raise these questions and we're going to answer these questions as we study the lives of Cain and Abel in Genesis chapter 4. We're going to learn a lot of things. We're going to learn what is and what is not acceptable worship. We will learn how to bring an acceptable offering to God. We're going to learn all about the importance of the living sacrifice in regards to worship. Let me read to you how Paul puts it in Romans 12, 1 and 2. Here's what it says. He says, Therefore I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. It's here in this text that we see worship is the bringing of the offering to the Lord, which is an indication of our relationship with God. We've got to understand this. Worship is who we are. It's how we think, it's how we live, how we interact with God and others. That's why I'm looking forward to studying this this week. And we can learn and understand fully what does it mean to be a living sacrifice, to worship the Lord in a way that is acceptable to Him. That's what I want. How about you? I look forward to worshiping you this Sunday so that we can understand this, take it to heart, and live it for God's people.